Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share to you another GED math test practice. Hope you enjoy these six questions. This is the first GED uh, practice test that I made this 2020 year. And hopefully I can make some more to just let you to give you more practice different questions every time. So here we go. Let's get started. Now my number one question is about this first, second, and third cube. So the first cube weighs twice as much as the second cube. The third cube weighs three times as much as the second cube. So the question is, how many grams does the first cube weigh? Is it A4, B2, and C5, and D6? I'll give you, as always, five seconds to figure it out. And here we go, the answer is letter C, 5. So the, the first cube weigh 5. And this one weigh 2.5. And this one weigh 15. So let's get to the number 2 question. Number 2. If the letter Y represents a negative number, which of the following represents a positive number? Is it A, Y plus Y, B, Y2, C, one half multiplies Y, and D, negative 6 multiplies Y? And the answer is letter D, negative 6 times Y. Let's go to number three questions. It's all about these gallons of milk. And there's gallons of milk this side, and then over here is elapsed time, the days. So the number three question is, at what rate in gallons per day is the milk being consumed by the people in a campsite? So here is fill in the blank. So pick it out in five seconds. So the answer is 0.5 gallons per day. Let's go to number four questions. How many gallons of milk they consume at day 12? So we already know we have 0.5 gallons in the last in the last number three questions. So here it's gonna be six gallons of milk at day 12. Number five questions. This is the easiest one of the six questions, so let's get let's go get it quick. Number five. Find the measure of the unknown angle. You see, this is the unknown angle here. It's the, with the question mark. Is it A eighty degree, B forty five degree, C ninety degree, and D thirty degree? So the answer is letter B. It's very easy because here in the top is 45 degree. So here in the bottom there, just the same angle here, here and here. So here is a 90 degree here. So let's go to the last questions, number six. This is a little bit tricky, but if you familiar the formula of the pi, then you can figure it out. So number six question. What is the volume of the green cylinder, cylinder above? Here is it's cm in the top and the side is 12 cm. So is it E48 pi, B96 pi, C192 pi, and D768 pi? So five seconds for the last questions. Start now. And the answer is letter C, 192 pi. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this practice and learn a little bit. And don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, and like. And I will see you in the future. You have a wonderful day or night. Bye.